is the Toledo Catholic Diocese in a state of crisis. Numerous cases of priest sex abuse, as well as a priest convicted of murder, have some parishioners feeling the diocese has kind of let them down. But how do church leaders feel? Chris Peterson talks with the diocese leadership in a report you'll only see on News 11. We hold priests and other church leaders to a higher standard of conduct, and when they fail us, it hurts. When they fail us repeatedly, we have to ask, why is this happening? And what is the church leadership doing to protect parishioners in the future? With the jury, uh, will the defendant rise? Find the defendant guilty of murder. It was the verdict heard around the world. A Catholic priest, Father Gerald Robinson, guilty of killing a nun in the sacristy of the chapel on Holy Saturday. It was a crime shocking when it happened 26 years ago, a verdict shocking and damaging to the Toledo Diocese today. I have prayed consistently for all of those who have been involved in the case. I can't imagine the, the suffering and the burdens among the jurors, uh, among the judge, among all of the attorneys, everyone involved in this episode, e everyone loses. Father Dave Nuss is the vocations director for the Toledo Diocese. He and other church leaders watch the trial with heavy hearts. It's sad for every person involved. It's, it's terribly sad for those of us who are priests and to, to have to experience that ourselves. And the, the heinous, brutal crime that was committed 26 years ago, uh, indescribable in its horror. To have to be reliving the violence of that is deeply disturbing and unsettling for, for all people. Especially the Catholic faithful. Many admit the conviction of Father Robinson and the sex abuse scandal in the diocese have made them question the church. Even during downtime, Father Dave and other priests ponder how to catch those parishioners who have lost faith in the diocese and how to fix the damage. It's sad, you know, as, as we talked about, um, it is sad. But it, it kind of reminds me even more of, of my need to, to look at myself and how I need to grow in holiness and, and to be even better um, than I was before. The one bad cop doesn't make for the entire law enforcement system to be corrupt. As vocations director, Father Dave works with young men who hear a calling to the priesthood. This year, these four men are giving the diocese much reason to celebrate. Four priests is the largest ordination in the diocese in 10 years, and the scrutiny and screening process for these men have never been more intense. We certainly are doing everything humanly possible to ensure that the candidates that we have for the priesthood in the Diocese of Toledo are men of integrity, are honest, law-abiding citizens, and all-around devout religious men. Father Dave tells me the screening process now is completely different, much more complicated than it was decades ago when, for instance, Gerald Robinson became a priest. He also points to a new program within the Toledo Diocese that educates anyone who works with children in the church, priests or lay people, on how to recognize signs of abuse and how to help protect young people. He says more than 15,000 people in the diocese have gone through the program, and he believes that is an important step to stopping the abuse crisis. Chris Peterson, News 11. And despite the crisis, those four new priests are said to be a real sign of hope for the future of the Toledo Diocese. Tonight at 11, Chris will talk with them in depth about how they see their role in the current climate of the Catholic Church.